to the broadcast. Millions of women flock to theaters when Magic Mike, the story of male strippers, hit theaters. And our next two guests know exactly what that feels like. <laughs> These two Texas boys have written a tell-all book called Take It Off. The Naked Truth Behind <laughs> Male Strippers. Welcome, Justin Whitfield and Taylor Cole. Well, well, I don't know why they would choose two old ladies to interview these guys. Speak for but, yourself. Oh, I'm on, I'm on it off. But, but I'm real happy to be here. Okay, so I want to know something. I want to know when you called your mom and you said, Mom, I have a job. And she said, what are you doing? What did you answer? Uh, I told her what I was doing. She was actually pretty cool with it. She thought it was funny. And she actually <laughs> she, she actually sewed my first pants, my tearaways for me. Yeah. She did? So she's pretty supportive of me. Yeah. What did you say? Uh, my mom was OK with it. As long as I graduated college, that's all she cared about. Really? Yeah. Right. So how did you get the job? I mean, you yeah. read somewhere that they were auditioning for, a, like, a strip club or what? Yeah, there's like an amateur night. Oh, you know, we oh go up there and amateur night. Yeah. Yeah. You have traveled all over Europe, everywhere. For 20 years, you guys mm -hmm. have been doing this. Mm -hmm. How do you keep yourself 20 in years shape? and they look fabulous. <laughs> <laughs> it's just part of the lifestyle. We, we, we talk about that in the book. We have a whole chapter on fitness. Do you work out every day? No. I mean, three, three hours a week. Three hours a week but to look like that? 20 years, I haven't missed more than a month at any given time. Oh, my goodness. That is amazing. Yeah. yeah. So w what made you write this book? Was it to help people get in the business? And the business is called Take It Off, The Naked Truth Not about a the lot has been written strip. about the male Do you uh, feel like you've been berated or glorified or um, what? Well, the reason we wrote the book is because, you know, uh, there wasn't a lot of, um, uh, like, Truth? Information, you know, information or, about yeah. it until the movie came out. You right. know, whenever that movie came out, it brought more attention to our business and right. to that side of it. And uh, we had talked about writing a book for a long time. He moved down to Houston, and I stayed up here in Dallas. So when we would get back together and tour, you know, I would say what happened on my side. He would say what happened on his side. And we were like, man, we, we would just laugh. Or something, <laughs> you know? so What's what the most yeah. incredible or weird thing that has ever happened to you that oh, you God. can tell on TV? Oh, that, w that we can tell. Um, <laughs> we, could do, we could tell you about the fireman. One, one night, uh, it was a busy Saturday night at the club, elbow to elbow, women just everywhere, mm. and a customer had an Epileptic, epileptic seizure, seizure wow. from the strobe, strobe lights. lights. And wow. uh, yeah. her, her party called the paramedics. So when the paramedics and the firemen came in the club, now mind you, it's a busy Saturday, all the women started trying to get the firemen yeah. oh, the they club thought they, they thought it was done. part of the show, you know? So whenever they came in, they placed my yeah, favorite. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> what was happened the first time you ever took your clothes off? You weren't embarrassed, were you? Are you at oh, like that? Are you kidding? No. Never know. Yeah. 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 Really? Yeah. 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 Getting on stage and doing that's very, very yeah. hard to do. It's not are you, easy. Are you still nervous when you get on stage? I'm still or? nervous. Really? Every single really? time. Yeah, I'm I, yeah. I retire. Do you really? I, yeah, oh, every time. yeah. Did you ever want to quit the business? Well, I, I've already quit myself. Mm. Much like in the movie, uh, Channing Tatum's like 31, 32. Uh, Dating a girl who falls in love wants to open up a business. And what do you exactly do ap afterwards? What are you doing? Um, now? I own a sports bar in Houston called okay. the End Zone Sports How Bar. Oh, great! Wonderful. Yeah. yeah, because it does have a life. Now, are well, you yeah. going to have any male strippers there, though? I, I've actually had a magic back night, and I've got great. three of my former dancers that work there right now, too. So Interesting. <laughs> like, All okay. right, how long are you going to keep doing it? Um, man, I'm having so much fun with it now. <laughs> I think maybe a, maybe another year or two. And, and, then, and, uh, and I have to ask, how good is the money? Because we hear about all these $20 bills and that good. sort of thing. It's yeah. pretty good, yeah. It's pretty um, good. It, it's up and down, you know, like we have our slow nights and we have right. our busy nights. So. But um, you make a good living. It's always different. Yeah, yeah. it's you definitely worth it. Yeah. And lots of girls. Do you yes. have any rules that you absolutely, <laughs> absolutely will not do? Um, I mean, we don't kiss girls at the club. Um, yeah. Can't have sex with customers. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Stuff like that. Yeah. See, it's just another world. <laughs> <Right>. <laughs> it's fantastic. Well, good luck to both of you. Well, and you. I Thank mean, you. your bodies are sensational, <laughs> to say the least. And remember, the book is called Take, Take it, off, it Off, The Naked Truth About Male Strippers. Two Texas boys have a great sense of humor. 